Hi everybody and welcome to Dragon Tech Tales. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Minisform S40. The Minisform S40 is actually the smallest all-in-one computer capable of high-end emulation. It features an Intel N4000 CPU with 4GB of RAM. The N4000 inside has an unlocked TDP and claims not to throttle. For connectivity, it features HDMI and DisplayPort out as well as 2x USB 3.0 ports. The thermal design features an active cooling with an intake and exhaust which allows for extended periods of gameplay without performance issues. This also means it's going to perform better than a passively cooled Intel N4000. So without further ado, let's take a look at N64, PSP, Dreamcast, GameCube and even PS2 emulation on the S40 using Batocera Linux. As you can see, the S40 handles Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64 without any major issues or any slowdown. It is running at native resolution and appears to be running at 60 frames per second. Tekken 6 for PSP does show a lot of issue regarding frame rate. However, this can be largely mitigated by turning on frame skip onto 1, thus lowering the FPS from 60 down to 30. But as you can see, it is completely playable you and win. still enjoyable on this mode. Round 2. <laughs> The S40 appears to handle Dreamcast emulation absolutely perfectly without any issue aside from a small little bit of sound slowdown or FPS slowdown in menus. This victory strengthens the soul of Even Sonic Adventure's iconic bridge scene runs flawlessly without any slowdown, aside from a few graphical glitches that may annoy some users. With how easy the S40 handles Dreamcast, I was actually surprised to see a little bit of slowdown in Crazy Taxi 2 on the S40. However, aside from that 1% slowdown, the game runs perfectly fine. Aside from the annoying audio clipping, Mario. Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube seems to run relatively Mario. well on the S40, aside from Mario. a little bit of slowdown here and there. Surprisingly, the S40 with its N4000 CPU can actually handle Super Mario Sunshine relatively well, aside from the occasional small slowdown. It is worth noting that Super Mario Sunshine is a difficult game to emulate, so users may encounter some slowdown during gameplay. However, future development of the emulator or even of the S40 may fix this. One of my all-time favorites, Super Monkey Ball 2 for the GameCube, runs relatively fine without any major issue from what I can see.
As you can see, Wind Waker runs perfectly on the S40 with only a tiny bit of audio clipping which could be fixed in Dolphin settings. Unfortunately, it does look like the S40 is not capable of running PlayStation 2. Um, this could be changed in the future with frame skipping or even better compatibility, um, but it could be a while before we see that. All in all, the S40 has a slim design which packs a lot of power into the Intel stick profile, so it won't take up too much space. The power alongside with the active cooling provides for great emulation without breaking the bank. If you wish to buy it, you can use the Amazon link in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And be sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video as it lets me know what you guys want to see. Game on everybody.